Knockout City is an ever-expanding game with an equally evolving meta. I could tell you how to play good Knockout City in Season 5, but hey, who's to say half the things I'm about to say aren't going to be completely obsolete by, like, Season 8? I mean, who knows, they could patch out the fake throne. So, the purpose of today's video, I have the goal of creating a guide that can still be used no matter how complex the game gets, or how much the meta changes, or how much any of it changes. Because, let's be real, if these become irrelevant in the future, I mean, the game is just bad at that point. With that said, let me begin. These are the three golden rules of Knockout City. Whether you're competing against others in Halo, Mario Kart, or hell, even Tetris, almost every game has the same rule of thumb. Going into a fight unarmed is basically suicide, and in Knockout City it's no different. Which leads me to the first golden rule of Knockout City. If you don't have a ball, then get one! Unless you're playing in event mode like superpowers or you get into a lucky situation with a, a train or something, the only way you're going to get any KOs is with a dodgeball. And if you don't have a dodgeball, then you're not going to get any points. And if you're not getting any points, then you're doing what we pros call SUCKING AT THE VIDEO GAME! So it's generally a good idea to have a ball in hand at all times. You can find them at their spawners or you can try to catch the opponent's throws. <laughs> Rule number two kind of goes with rule number one. Pass the ball or pass away. Passing is one of, by far, the most useful things you can do in a match. Passing the ball increases the charge on the ball, which makes your throw faster, and a faster throw means a higher chance of actually landing a hit. Passing is also, in a way, the game's own way of telling you to stay close to your teammates and move as a unit, rather than moving individually and splitting up. It's very easy to get picked off when you're by yourself. You'll notice that the best teams don't split up very often, if not at all, and that is mainly so that they can pass to each other. So, yeah, that's rule number two. Unlike rule number one, this could technically apply to any team-based game you would play, because even the best players in the world can get screwed over if they don't coordinate well with their teammates. And like most other games, it's incredibly difficult to take on an entire team by yourself. But it really doesn't matter how good you are at the game, what really matters is how well you work with the other players on your team. I mean, hey, if my girlfriend, who, mind you, still needs to be reminded where the A button is, can clutch a round of KO Royale with nothing but a little backseat gaming, then hey, anything's possible. So, make sure that your communication with your team is clear and concise. Or if you don't have a team you play with, just find some folks that you synergize with really well. Because remember, COMMUNICATION IS KEY! And that's it! Those are the three golden rules of Knockout City. If you remember and stick to these three things, you should be high ranking by no time, no matter what season of the game you're playing. Anyway, since you made it to the end of the video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button so you can watch my new videos too. I'm posting every single day of 2022 and I'm getting ever so close to 2,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in tomorrow's upload.